I've come to Swell in Berkshire today to visit the winning loft of John Haynes. Good morning, John. Good morning, Keith. Congratulations on winning the Guernsey Classic. Thank you very much. What time did you clock? 12.56. Yeah, fantastic performance, mate, I must say. Very hard race, wasn't it? Very, very hard. Yeah, right. sort of 8 out of 20 on the day, which was sort of the norm for everybody. I think every, well, some people had worse races. Yeah. Returns weren't too bad, though, was they? No, on the, on the end of the day, I think I've got 12 now out of the 20, so... Yeah, the thing that concerned me, really, was that stiff east wind. Yeah, it was very, very hard for the pigeons, especially the people on the coast. Yeah. Still, never mind, mate. How long have you been in the sport? Uh, on and off since I was about 14. Yeah, that's a long so time ago, then. 30 odd years, yeah. <laughs> What's one or two of your best performances? Uh, one of the two, I was 8th Open London and South East Classic Poe with the grandfather of this hen. Yeah. Uh, I won the SMT Combine when I was racing with the Gilberts. Yeah. Uh, I was 20th Open Saints National this year, or 20, 21st Open Saints, tell lies. So, yeah. Uh, Good, good performance. 15th you know. Open, 8th Open, London and South East Classic, year in Derby. Oh. Yeah. What sort of racing do you like best? Basically, channel racing. Yeah. But I do like my sprints because it keeps me sane. Yeah. This is your classic winner then, John. Can you tell me all about her? Yeah, she, I would say small to medium. Yeah. Blue hen of Bracus Cross Jeff Cooper Origins. Yeah. What system has she raced on? She's raced on the darkness system. Yeah. Um, probably mucking about trying to, she was calling to nest when she went to the classic so he's paired up well no he's not quite paired no no, no. just calling to nest they're part of the youngsters basically and then put together on the day of Marking. basket yeah what was her build up to the classic race um she's had four young bird races with the bbno fed uh being totally honest she's sort of just lobbed in behind the the, 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 uh, the sprinters really yeah. but there again she's bred to go a lot further yeah the first London and South East Classic winner from Guernsey what system you race your old birds on in John? Uh, the Willowhood system yeah was it just Cox? just Cox uh, this year I did try mucking about a few ends which was well, I suppose successful in a way because it was 21st Open Saints National we won yeah. the yearling hen, so we don't know. Basically, mm. would have put yeah. Tell us about your system then. When did you pair up? Pair up probably when I come back from the Blackpool show, yeah. end of January. Yeah. How'd you get them on the system? On the system, uh, they have a round of young uns, then the young uns 15, 16 days old, before the hens lay again, I take the hens away. Yeah. Leave the cocks with the youngsters. Once the young uns are weaned, Cox are on Widowhood. Yeah. How about training? Training, they probably have five, six tosses into the first race. Yeah. And do they go right through the card on Widowhood? Uh, the channel pigeons go right through the cards, yes, but I have a sprint team. Have you? Two teams, like? Two teams, yes. Yeah. So, do you use the inland races for training the old, but, you know, the sprint The inland races used for training the channel pigeons, yeah. yes. Uh, probably as far as Exeter. Yeah. Then, maybe one toss back on the southerly route and across the drink. Yeah. How about feeding? Feeding, they're fed Willsbridge corn. Yeah. Knocked up to Jeff Cooper's methods. Yeah. How about breakdown? You break breakdown? No. What we actually do is we have a separate dustbin which has probably 10-15% barley in the mix and that's what I call my breakdown. Yeah. This is John's very smart Widowood loft. There's three sections, open door trapping, and this houses between 36 and 40 Woodward cocks. This is a scene inside one of the Woodward sections. Each section contains 12 nest boxes. And of course, now that the old bird racing's finished, John's having one or two late breads off one or two of the top pigeons. And this is John's loft for these widowed ends and stock ends. This is John's very smart second loft. It's 24 foot long. It has four sections. This houses one or two widowed pigeons, the widowed hens and his young birds. And the young birds are trapped through super traps. 
What families of pigeons you keep then, John? Um, basically, two families of pigeons. One for sprinting, which are Van Reets, Cross Jensen, Cross Huben. Uh, my distance pigeons are mainly Jeff Coopers, Cross Dewert. Yeah. A few brackets now, which is the old family. What do you look for when you bring a pigeon in then? Uh, balance, feather quality, and an intelligent head, really. I just like to see something yeah, that I like. Something you like, yeah. yeah. I think most of us just see something that strikes our fancy and we take a chance. Yeah. How many stock birds do you keep? Uh, Twelve pair of stock pigeons. Yeah. So when do you pair them up? They're paired up at the same time as the racers. So I'll swap the eggs from the stock pigeons under most of the yearlings. Yeah. Tell us about young bird methods now. Young bird methods, wing 24, 25 days old, straight onto darkness. Yeah, you like the darkness? I prefer the darkness, I think it keeps the pigeons in fine fettle. Um, basically, this time of year you go at the club, most people's pigeons are falling to, falling to pieces. Yeah. Mine, or well, you've seen today, yeah. are still First class. full wing, in pretty good condition, no, f no feathers missing. No. Just in general health, I think it's far like, superior. They look like old birds, mate. Old birds? They look like old birds. Oh, they are, yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. How about feeding them? Feeding training? them uh, once a day, around about an ounce and a half of corn, which I've said before is Willsbridge, not yeah. tough, it's Cooper Methods. Yeah, how about training? Training, if and when, I'll probably a dozen tosses, and in this year, instead of training them through the week, I've tried. Jeff Cooper's method again, which is just exercise around the loft yeah. and touch wood. This works. They seem to be coming well, <laughs> yes. Anyway, John, thank you very much for letting me come around and see your classic winner today. It's a credit to you. Thank you very much for coming. John Haynes of Slough. First Open, London and South East Classic, Guernsey 1.